what a beautiful scooter the Yadia Elite Prime and they say it'll go 40 miles on a single charge Isn't that a beautiful scooter? The Yadier Elite Prime Scooter. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a lot of power. It's got a peak 1500 watts of power. And the battery is a 46.8 volt with 14.5 amp hours. And that's supposed to get you about 40 miles in distance. It's got 10 inch self healing tires. An incredible suspension system, making it a nice, smooth ride. It has a front drum brake and a rear disc brake, plus it has an electronic braking system. This is the on button. Uh, every time I turn it on, it seems to want to go to kilometers an hour, so if you just hit that, I think, three times, one, two, three, it moves it to mile per hour. I'm right now in sport mode, but if I want to change that, I just hit it twice. One, two, and it went to walk mode. Two more to drive mode. Two more back to sport mode. It does have an extreme mode, but I haven't unlocked that yet. You can see it's drizzling a little bit right now. It was raining a little bit harder, and it looks like it may start raining again. But this thing, you don't have to worry about it. It is waterproof, or water resistant anyways. I uh, already got a little bit muddy. I've taken it off-road on the way here. All right, let's see how I do off-road through here. It's supposed to be all-terrain scooter. I definitely can fly through here faster on an e-bike. They handle that pretty good. It is just a scooter. I'm going to be a little bit easier on it through here than I normally would. But this is how you test a product out, right? You can see it's got a full charge. It's got some really cool features. It's got a headlamp, it's got a tail light, and it's got turn signals. Pretty cool, huh? It's got a little bell. Let everybody know you're sneaking up behind them. So one of the things you have to do to get this thing moving, you have a throttle right there, but notice it's on. I can hit the throttle and it does nothing why you have to start so you have to actually give it a little push and then push down on the throttle and then you're going Ooh, getting mistier hopefully the lens is staying clean it's a nice thing about the gopro it usually does you just got to wipe it down every once in a while I love the fresh, salty sea air. Oh my goodness. It smells so good over here. You know, I, I like it right next to the coast after it's rained a little. It's just such a good smell. It's like, to me, fresh air. Here comes another steeper part of the hill. And I've got no slowdown at all on this thing. It just goes. Let's see. Slowing down a little bit. Slow down four miles an hour to get up that steep part of the hill. So a lot of you guys may not know about Yadia, but if you do live in China, you really do know it because it's a super popular product. They make all kinds of great electric vehicles. The engineering has been around for many, many years, and that's why this scooter is such a great machine. It's well worth the money. I would consider it uh, definitely their prime scooter, and that's why they call it the Elite Prime. And they also wanted me to test my weight on it and see how it performed, because there's not a lot of uh, guys my size that will are willing to do that.
But this Yachty yeah Elite Prime is super smooth, super comfortable, super easy to ride, and anybody can use it. And I haven't used hardly any battery at all or any noticeable battery. Most of the time when I get to the pier on my e-bikes, I see a little bit of battery usage, unless it's a big whopping uh, amp hour battery. And this has one of those big whopping amp hour batteries. It's got 14.8 amp hours, actually. I may be able to go for a long, long ride, a lot longer than I thought. They say 40 miles, but you know, I'm a little bit bigger than the 180 pounds that they make those calculations with. So I imagine I could go about 30 miles. And that's a little rough spot right there, but this thing handles it beautifully. And here is Huntington Beach Pier area. This is where I grew up, my stomping grounds as a kid and an adult. <laughs> well, if this adult ever grew up. See how it does on this surface. Man, that scooter is a lot of fun. What a beautiful backdrop. I wish the sun was out, but guys, it was raining on my trip here today. And this thing handled it no problem. Okay, it's set. This is just like a matting over sand. What I've noticed is this automatically makes adjustments based on the terrain that you're riding on. And like it went faster over that. And this is just like a carpet over sand. It's for wheelchairs. And we are going to head home. I love doing product reviews like this. It's so much fun. And this thing is way more fun than I could possibly imagine. Can you imagine if this place is packed with people, you could easily get around them. I've done so well in maneuvering this thing. And the braking system's great. It's just a little dirty right now. and got a little sand on it, so I'm avoiding using it. Let's see if we can get up this hill. See the guy on the bike's having trouble getting up this hill. But going up this hill no problem and it flew right up that hill you know I feel like I just want to surf on this thing you know what I mean it feels that's just how it feels to me get up and surf it I saw one bar go down on my battery so I could probably take this all the way to the wedge and back without any issue I've done a lot of goofing off with it already. Even before I came out, I did goofing off with it, mainly to learn how to ride it. I'm flying, I'm flying. It feels like I'm flying. This Yadier Elite Prime scooter makes me feel like I'm flying. Just floating on air. <sighs> oh my, this is so much fun. I can't wait for my grandson to try this thing out. He's gonna absolutely love it. You know, when they contacted me to review the scooter, I've always wanted to try the scooters. You know, I've rented the scooters in Long Beach to get around just for the fun of it. I didn't really need to rent it. I just wanted to do it. And I had a lot of fun with it. And today, using this Yachty Elite Prime scooter, I've had so much fun. I can't wait to do it again. Okay, I'm not done playing with this thing yet. I wanted to show you guys a few more features, starting with that kickstand. It's kind of a hidden kickstand, and it integrates right into the base of the machine right there, like that. So let's run through the controls. So let's turn it on. Now it's just a one button control. So right now I'm in kilometers an hour. So if I hit that button three times in a row, it'll move it to miles per hour. One, two, three. And then if I just hit it twice in a row, it moves the modes. So right now it's in drive mode. Twice puts it in sport mode. Now I've been playing all day today with it in sport mode. So we're gonna try walk mode and drive mode and see how fast it goes. Over here are your turn signals. So if I hit 
left turn signal you can see it flashing left and if I hit right turn signal flashing right this is your throttle now the throttle is not going anywhere right now even though the machine's on because it is a kick scooter you actually have to kick it to get moving and we're going to test and see how fast walk mode drive mode and sport mode are i don't have extreme mode unlocked yet i will be doing that in the future so hit this twice and it moves it to walk mode and it's got the headlamp on i'm gonna shut that off by hitting it just once okay now all i need to do to get moving is it's a kick start right so as a kick scooter you gotta kick it you gotta kick it and go now i feel virtually no power but it is staying solid at three miles an hour and right now because I held down the throttle for a longer period of time and I did activate it, it's in cruise control. So if I'm walking with a group of people or I'm just easing through traffic uh, on a sidewalk, because this thing is very maneuverable, and if you want to out of cruise control, all you gotta do is hit the brakes. All right, hit that brake and it's out of cruise control so I have to hit the throttle again. Now, hit this twice. And we're in drive mode. Let's see how fast drive mode goes. Got to kick it. Go. Oh, it's, it's much more acceleration. But it's going to do 9 miles an hour in drive mode. Now that the cruise control has been activated, I don't have to hold on to anything. We can just cruise. And again, if you want it out of cruise control, you just hit the brakes and you're out. And if you want to activate cruise control, you got to do it through the phone, the app on your phone. And it automatically sets when you hold the thr throttle down for a period of time. So if I'm holding the throttle down for a period of time, it should automatically activate like it just did. And this symbol right here in this corner is the symbol for the cruise control. Now, we're gonna test sport mode. Hit this twice. And I'm gonna hit it once just to turn the headlamp on because I'm taking it out on the street, sport mode. All right? All right, gotta kick it to get it. All right, kick scooter activated and we're going already. That's one thing this thing has no problem doing is going. So it's keeping a solid 19 miles an hour in cruise control in sport mode. I'm going to open up the Yachty A app. I'm connected. I can lock it. Um, but I'm going to shut cruise control off right now. You heard that. So I'm in sport mode. Cruise control is off. And it shows you how much battery life I have. And if I want to lock it. I can just hit that it powers it down no one else can use it you have to unlock it from your phone now I need to use the phone to unlock it unlock and we're good to go one of the great features that I really like about this is this little slot right here connects into that little device right there when you unclamp the handlebars right here so once you unclamp that, this folds over. This little slot right here goes right in here, right here. All right, then what you do, you pick it up and you can put it in the trunk of your car. You can carry it upstairs to your apartment. There's all things you can do with this. It is kind of heavy, but it's not too bad. Just put it right in the trunk of your car and go. Let's take this thing off road. Going right up this steep hill, no problem. Thank you, Yachty A, for sending me this Elite Prime scooter. I would say today was probably one of the most fun days I've had doing product reviews. I'm looking forward to a whole lot more fun today riding this scooter and many, many, many years to come. And guys, 
If you're interested in getting one of these Elite Prime scooters, all you got to do is look in this video's description and I'll include some links and any discount codes. And if you like this video, please click like. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing, ringing this bell, and receive all the notifications every time I release a new video. And please take a look at this video right here.